when you think about Rothko today, why, why, why do people still think that his work is so timeless? He's working to express the fundamental aspects of the human condition. There's the, the range of, of human emotions is still so much a part of our lived experience. You know, he found a way through, through the language of art to express the, and, and sort of mine the depths of the human condition. I'm Elsa Smith-Gall, and I'm Chief Curator at the Phillips Collection. Hi, I'm Lily Steele. I'm Head of Conservation at the Phillips Collection. I've been at the Phillips Collection for over 25 years, and so I've been in the curatorial department living with the Rothkos for, for decades. As a Head of Conservation, I oversee all the preservation uh, efforts in the museum. The Phillips Collection is the first museum to have dedicated a specific room to the display of Mark Rothko's work. It was at a moment when Mark Rothko was expressing already his own preference for his art to be experienced in a room of its own in an immersive way. So by being surrounded in this very tightly constructed space. It was important that the proportion of the room be very intimate. He understood in a way that I think is really interesting in thinking about the experience of art today. He was sort of ahead of his time because he was really so much thinking about the way that his art was not complete unless the visitor, the viewer, was intimately associating themselves with the work. And this is the only artist in the whole collection that Duncan Phillips decides is going to have a room to himself. The museums, of course, are used to getting loan requests. Um, at the same time, to get a loan request for three Rothkos that are part of a museum's Rothko room that's, um, in a sense, a real cornerstone and permanent fixture, is a pretty exceptional request. Uh, that the Phillips received of about a year and a half ago from the Fondation Louis Vuitton in Paris. For this exhibition, the Louis Vuitton Foundation wanted to recreate the Rothko Room. They wanted to tell the story about um, Duncan Phillips conceiving of the idea of, of the Rothko Room. With this exhibition in Paris, it's the largest exhibition that's ever been dedicated to Rothko, over a hundred works being brought together from all over. Uh, the world, and it is being co-curated by Christopher Rothko, of course, the artist's son. So I accompanied the uh, three Rothkos that we lit to the Rothko exhibition at the Louis Vuitton Foundation. So in August, we began examining the paintings, getting them ready for loan, creating new condition reports for them, and uh, making sure that they had good backing boards on the reverse. And we did add a new backing board to uh, one of the paintings. It, it didn't have one at all. So those are important for protection during travel. It, it uh, mitigates the vibration that the paintings will sometimes go through, the shocking vibration to have backing boards on the reverse. So that's pretty important. And uh, we created uh, new condition reports for them. So all new documentation, you know, every scratch, every scuff, they will be um, checking the paintings once a week against my report and their report to make sure that, that there's no changes in condition. I'm sure it's going to be an extremely popular show. It is an absolutely gorgeous show. I got to go through the show actually with Christopher Rothko. He offered to walk me through, which was just really such a special, special time. <laughs>